Rory, are you there? I just wanted to extend a huge congratulations to you today again. You and my little Thomas looked so amazing today. It really was enough to bring a tear to my eye. Several, actually. But I'm so happy that you two are finally married. I know, right? It really was. Just such an amazing wedding. Everything went just as I imagined it. You know, it was actually Thomas and I that came up with the design scheme for the whole thing. So that makes me even more happy that you enjoyed the wedding since I did so much to help plan it. Wait a second. You mean that you and Thomas came up with that decoration all by yourselves? Yeah, we wanted to save money where we could, and I already kind of had a vision. We were even the ones who put the decorations up. We tried to do everything that we could by ourselves to save money. <laughs> but I'm a little confused. I gave you guys $100,000 to use on the wedding, but you still tried to cut costs down? Yeah, pretty much. Weddings are expensive. Right, but you two came to me when you got engaged and cried about how you didn't have any money at all for a wedding. You said you wanted to make it as grand as it could be, and so I offered to give you $100,000. But you're still telling me that that money wasn't enough for the wedding? Well, hmm, I guess things were just a lot more expensive than we originally thought. You know how bad the inflation is. So by the time we got everything that we wanted, we were already over budget. I see, but I guess you did throw a spectacular wedding, I have to say that much. Although, if I'm being honest, it didn't feel like a hundred thousand dollar wedding. I mean, the food was kind of bland and there weren't many options for drinks. No, something isn't right here. I want you to come out and tell me the truth about your wedding right now. I told you that we used all the money already, who cares how we spent it? You gave it to us to help celebrate, and we spent it on ourselves. Isn't that enough? You really can't give someone a gift and then get mad when they use it however they want. Are you kidding me? It wasn't a gift for you two to spend on whatever you wanted. Ugh, are you seriously doing this to me right now on my own wedding day? I can't believe that you are seriously trying to ruin my day right now. Here I thought we were going to be able to get along, but you're just being a jerk. You really need to watch your mouth and think about how you talk to me now that I'm married to your son. Excuse me? Uh, you can't be serious. Are you really mad at me for asking a few questions about what you spent all that money on? I mean, I gave you that money for your wedding. I really don't think that you get to be mad at me for being a little surprised to find out that you didn't use it for that is all. Just shut up already, you annoying old hag. If you're going to keep bugging me about this, then I just won't ever talk to you. I already hate having to communicate with you as it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to enjoy my honeymoon. So you're really just going to run away from this? I don't believe you, Lori. Hey there, Jenny. Did you finally get over yourself yesterday? Are you really greeting me like this after what you said to me yesterday? I thought I wasn't going to be hearing from you for a while. Well, I got a good night's sleep and now I'm recharged and ready to deal with you. <laughs> Actually, the thing is that there is something that I wanted to talk to you about. Do you have the time to chat? I have a really bad feeling of whatever it is that you're going to say next. So if you wouldn't mind just cutting straight to the point, that would be great. Right, well, the thing is that Thomas and I are going to be moving into your house. So would you mind moving out of there by this weekend, please? Hold on a second. You and my son are going to be moving into my house and you want me to move? Well, duh, we're married, so the next thing we have to do is find a place to live and then get a new car, too. Thomas and I talked, and we agreed that since things are a little tight right now, we could just take your house instead of worrying about finding a new one. You're just going to take my house? I don't even know how to respond to that. And this is supposed to be different from the two of you just coming to live with me? Live with you? No, no, no. I do not want to be sharing a home with you one bit. The only people who are going to be living there are going to be Thomas and I, got it? We don't need or want you there, so go ahead and pack your bags and leave. So you're really being serious about this then? You're being ridiculous! Well, I know that your husband died a long time ago, so it's not like you can really say that you need all that space yourself, right? I'm sure that house is way too big for just you. It is true that I have a lot of rooms that I'm not using, but since that's the case, I don't see why you both can't just come and live with me. 
because I already told you that I don't want to live with you and I'm sure that you don't want to live with me. We just won't get along, so if we're both in the same house, then one of us will have to go. <laughs> and since you were probably going to leave the house to Thomas in your will anyways, you can just do us a favor and give it to us now. And just who said that Thomas was going to get the house? I never ever said anything like that to him. Well, sure, but he's your eldest child. Who else would get the house? His sister Maggie moved out too, so you don't have anyone else to give the house to anyways. <laughs> I don't really see what the problem is if we ask to live there a bit earlier. You two can really only think of yourselves, can't you? You really think you can just kick me out of my house like this? Have you even thought of where I might be able to go if I were to up and move out of here for you two? Uh, no, not really. I haven't given that any thought at all. I don't really care where some old bag of bones like you goes, to be perfectly honest. Maybe you could go and rent some tiny little apartment or something. And if I go and do that, are you two going to be paying my rent on the place? That's the least you could do if you're getting a whole house out of this. <laughs> you really think that we're going to do anything to help you out? No, that is not going to happen. You should still have some money that your husband left you when he died. Why don't you just use that? Oh, go and live with Maggie or something like that. So you're just going to kick me out of my own home and you don't care at all what happens to me next? Why should I move out and give you the house then? This whole conversation is just ridiculous. You have to move out though. We've already decided we're moving in and we've canceled the lease to our place. We've already started packing our bags and putting things in boxes, so you have to be out of the house by this weekend. You really expect me to just go along with this? Have you lost your mind? You will leave the house. If you don't, then we'll have to take matters into our own hands and you won't like that. Okay, I guess if you really want to live with us in your house, then you can, but you have to pay us rent. Excuse me, I am going to have to pay you two rent? You really just don't know when to quit, do you? Well, if you don't want to pay rent, then you can move out of the house. How about that? You were going to leave it to your son anyway, so just leave. I feel like I'm giving you plenty of options here. It isn't my fault if you're going to be unreasonable and turn them all down. You call those options. Both of those are just terrible, and you didn't consult me about any of this beforehand. Just how much would you be charging me for rent anyways? Uh, I was afraid that you would try to take me up on that. But if you want to keep living in your house with Thomas and I, you'll have to pay us $2,000 a month. You're going to charge me that much money just to live in my own house? That's right. If you pay us $2,000 a month, then I'll let you live with us. If you have a problem with that, then you know what your other option is. I would rather not have to live with you at all, if I'm being honest. So then you're going to move out for us? Great! Just make sure you're out of the house by this weekend. Maybe you could go and ask Maggie if you can live with her. Maggie, are you there? I'm really sorry to ask this so suddenly of you, but could I maybe stay with you for a few days? I've been kicked out of my own house. Wait, what? Mom, what do you mean by that? What happened? Well, I got some messages from Lori, and she was telling me that her and Thomas couldn't afford moving into a new place, so she said they were taking over my house. She told me that I was going to give the house to Thomas anyway, so I might as well just do it earlier. And you just handed them the house without a fight? Why would you do that, Mom? Because I have had just about enough of these two. I just didn't want to deal with them anymore, and so I gave them what they wanted but now I'm working on getting Thomas completely removed from my will. You're going to cut Thomas out of your will? Are you sure about that, Mom? That's right. If Thomas wasn't going to stick up for me and put his crazy wife in her place, then I don't need him. Anyways, I know it's last minute, but could I please stay with you for a while? I really never thought that I would be in this position, and yet here I am. I know that your husband is away on a business trip right now, so if I could just stay with you until he gets back, I would really appreciate it. Mom, of course you can come and stay with us. Th that's not a problem at all. In fact, I was actually starting to feel a bit lonely without my husband around. I'll talk to him and explain what's happening. Thank you so much. I feel so bad for dropping it on you so suddenly like this, but I still just have so much I have to deal with on my end. Of course. Well, you feel free to come here, settle down, and take care of whatever business you have. And if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. 
If you're cutting off Thomas for this, then I think that I should too. Are you sure about that? He is your brother, after all. You don't have to do that just because I am. I know, but you know that Thomas and I have never gotten along, really. He would always act so entitled just because he was older. You know, he even bragged to me about how he was going to inherit the house and would always lord it over me. Honestly, I think he and Lori are perfect for each other, and I mean that in the worst way. They've both been awful to me. You mean that Lori has said mean things to you as well? That's right. She came up to me after her wedding and told me that she was going to do everything in her power to make sure I would inherit nothing. She said she was going to make it so that Thomas would get everything. And just who does she think she is to be making these kinds of decisions? Well, I guess she thinks that because she's married to the eldest child in our family that she has some rights to our stuff. I've actually been thinking of cutting those two out of my life for some time now, to be perfectly honest. I see. Well, if we're both on the same page, that is good news at least. Anyways, I'll pack up my things and head over to your place soon. Hey there, Jenny. You know, I had no idea that your house was this musty before coming here. I have no idea how you expect Thomas and I to live comfortably in a place like this. Are you really complaining about the house that you just stole from me? You two said you couldn't even afford your own place and you have the nerve to complain about my house? Don't start getting so upset just because we kicked you out. I already told you, you were going to give up this house anyway, so what's the point in getting mad? But I suppose Thomas and I have our work cut out for us in terms of renovating this place. So anyways, if you could go ahead and send us around $100,000 so that we can start that process, that'd be great. <laughs> what? You really think that I'm going to give you another $100,000 after what you did to me? You really must be delusional. But this house is so old, it just won't do it all. Besides, your eldest child is living here. Don't you want him to be comfortable with his wife and future kids? Hurry up and cough up the money. I don't even know what to say to that. You really have gone crazy if you think that you can order me around like this. I want to hear less complaining and more money going into my bank account. Got it? If you do that, we'll let you come over and see what we've done to the place afterwards, okay? I seriously have no words for you. Well, how about, yes, Lori, there's two words that you could say to settle this whole thing. You were never going to give this house to Maggie or anyone else. It was always going to be ours anyway. The least you could do is help us make it into our dream home. And do you think that I should just happily go along and give you all the money you want? Well, if you don't give me the money, then you can kiss ever seeing your son or me again goodbye. You live no one to count on but Maggie, do you understand? So if you want some insurance for your old age, you'll pay up what we're asking. I actually don't think I will. In fact, I don't even want to see either of you. So you aren't going to get a single cent from me. Wait, what? What is this? What are you getting at? I mean that I wouldn't give you the money anyways because it's a rental and you'd be an idiot to try and renovate the place. Wait, what? What do you mean this is rental? Are you serious? That's right, but I guess you two didn't even think to check about that. You just went along with this idiotic plan of yours. Anyways, I wipe my hands of both of you. Good luck with everything. Oh wait, just hold on for a second. What do you mean a rental? We're in a house. Have you just been renting this place? I thought that this was your family home or something like that, but you've actually just been renting it? Well, it is our family home, but I was renting it from Maggie. I had already given her the house, you see, and I was paying rent to her to let me live there. Hold on a second. You mean to tell me that you'd already given the house away? But Thomas and I knew nothing about that at all. Well, I gave the two of you $100,000 for your wedding, right? That was basically Thomas's entire inheritance. I also wanted to make sure that Maggie got something of equal value, so I gave her the house. Oh, wait. The money for the wedding was Thomas's inheritance? Well, Maggie had actually been wanting to move to a new place with her husband, but then he was sent on that long business trip. She had been so busy that she couldn't even think about trying to find a new home. I told her that she could have my home, and when her husband came back, she could sell the house and use it for her new one. No, you've got to be kidding me. That can't be right. But you were right about the house being too big for me. 
I was going to move into a smaller apartment, but Maggie said it was fine if I lived with her until her husband returned. Although she told me that since there were new tenants in her home, that she was going to start charging rent more seriously. You'll both owe her $1,500 a month. Wait, what? You mean that she was charging you even less than that? But she can't charge us for rent. We're her brother and sister-in-law. I'm afraid that Maggie doesn't see how that changes anything. But why? I don't understand. I heard from Maggie about all the horrible things that you told her. Did you really think that she was just going to let you live there for free after that? But $1,500 a month is way too much for this place. I mean, the average market rate for houses around here is only $800 a month. Well, I suppose it might be a bit above market rate, but she does own the house, so she has the right to make the rules. If you have a problem with it, take it up with her. You can't do this to us. It isn't fair. You have to do something. You're the mom. You can put a stop to all of this. You two really do just care about yourselves, don't you? You're more than happy to insult the people you should be getting along with until you need help. I don't have time for this nonsense. What do you mean? It isn't nonsense. This is our lives that we're talking about here. I see. Well, if you don't like it, you can always just move out, you know. It's that or pay rent every month. The choice is yours. Mom, how could you do this to us? Why aren't you doing more to help us? I mean, I thought I was supposed to get this house. You already gave it to Maggie, and you're really going to let her charge us rent? That's absurd! I'm sorry, but weren't you two asking me to pay $2,000 a month to live there? You're getting a discount from where I'm standing. But, I mean, that was just for you. We just charged you so that you would choose to move out instead. Okay, now repeat what you just sent me one more time to yourself, and I think you'll understand what's going on. Honestly, I am ashamed of you, Thomas. How could you do something like this to your own mother? But the house was going to be mine anyways, and we really needed a place to stay. You aren't really going to cut us off, are you? I'm afraid that I've made up my mind, and I don't want anything to do with you or Lori ever again. I gave you plenty of money for your wedding, and not only did you lie to me about how you spent it, but you had the gall to ask me for more after kicking me out. I really don't care at all what happens to the two of you from here on out. You both are on your own. Please, Mom! Things weren't supposed to happen like this. What about when you're old and you need to call on me for help? You think that I would ever want to call on you for help when I get old? I have more than enough saved up to afford a decent nursing service. I don't need you. In fact, I never ever want to hear from you again. Do you understand me? Are you happy now? Thomas and I decided that we can't afford to live in that house any longer. But since this was all your fault, the least you can do is give us money to find a new place. There you go again, trying to make demands of me. Well, I am still your daughter-in-law, and you really did us dirty. You need to compensate us for all that you've put us through. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Please, it would be different if Thomas had a good job, but he just quit his last one and he hasn't had any luck finding work. We really are on a tight budget, and we need your money. So my idiot son quit his job for some reason, and you think that's my problem? I'm sorry, but you two are on your own. You can't be serious about that. We're begging you here. Well, then you are wasting your breath, because you are not going to be getting a cent from me. I've already made that very clear. Now, if you don't have anything else to say, I think that this conversation between us is over. Have a nice life. <laughs> In the end, I heard that Thomas and Lori had to move into a tiny apartment and are doing their best to pinch every penny they have. It was only later that I learned they spent about half the money I gave them for the wedding on slot machines, if you can believe it. They actually spent so much money that they went into debt. Thomas tried reaching out to Maggie to beg her to tell him where I was living, but she pretended like she had no clue and told him she couldn't get a hold of me either. Thanks to my smart daughter, I can finally enjoy my old age in quiet peace. Thank you for watching till the end. If you felt good about this video, like the video. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comments. Subscribe too. Your likes and subs lead to our motivation. We have so many videos on our channel as well, so go ahead and take a look. See you in the next video.